Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. And I'm Kevin. We're back with Mission 3. Of Exciting. the Dragon, what, what did you call the campaign? Awakening, Awakening. the Dragon. Oh, yeah. He's the Dragon. I'm doing the Awakening, apparently. Kind of a big deal. It's a <laughs> My friends call me the Dragon. <laughs> so, Mission 3, last week, as you know, uh, the Seventh Donegal Guards managed to repel the Yakuza, the Red Devils, in a uh, very aggressive uh, assault mission against an escort right. com carrying some of my high command personnel. Our commander, Tom, was forced to commit seppuku. <laughs> he will no longer be appearing on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. Uh, don't send me authorities. Uh, so... <laughs> Tom did his best. However, he faced down three assault mechs yeah. and the Locust. He managed to take out the Locust, which could be painful later in this campaign uh, if it drags out and I need those light mechs on the field. We'll see. Uh, but I did manage to take out two of your sort of mid-range, you know, right. uh, the, the Gladiator. Gladiator. Yes. And, uh, and the Griffin. The Griffin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, Scrapper took a headshot. His pilot was wounded. But otherwise, the remaining mechs on the field just kind of paint chips, nothing too yeah. serious. And Scrapper's back today, right? Scrapper's coming back. He's coming back. In fact, Bandage Scrapper, it up. Bubbles, Crybar, they are, they are pushing forward. Bubbles? Bubbles, yeah, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the Banshee pilot. <laughs> you missed that one. <laughs> so they're, uh, they're pushing forward. They're reinforced by a Vulcan piloted by a rookie pilot, call sign Tux. Mm. Have you ever seen the phenomenal? I have. Yes. The so that, that that's the that's the inspiration. Yeah. Uh, so that's my lance, king. Well, queen crab, but king crab, uh, banshee, cyclops, Vulcan. So we'll see what they can do. Uh, we're playing a take and hold mission. Right. So uh, the fluff is this: Draconis combine, Karnov transport, critical supplies, crashes. Not too far from their last encounter. Oh dear. Oh yeah. It's right in the middle of the battlefield. Both our lances are going for it, so typical take and hold mission. If you're within three inches of the objective, you gain an objective point. Um, if both of us are within three inches of it, nobody gains objective points. And basically we tally those up. Um, I believe there's like a threshold, like if somebody pulls ahead by so many points, I don't remember what is off the top of my head, like they automatically win. Um, we'll flash that up in the, in the mission summary in just a minute. But basically, that's the, the general gist of the mission. So, mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you bringing to defend as, so, you, are, as you are on the defensive now? The, the force that had to uh, pull back their attack from the loss last week um, is now on the defensive. Yeah. So they've been reinforced, so I have okay. the exterminator coming back. Oh, Wraith. Boy. Yeah, your leader. My, my, my man. Yeah. Um, we have the Archer 2R. Mm, that's scary. Fun. Mr. Benz. <laughs> He's going to be great. <laughs> uh, the Kentaro 18. I think it's the 18? Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah. I basically turned it into a shotgun. Yeah. Lots of um, missiles. Tom was using that yeah. fairly effectively last week. Right. He's Sakura. The blooming, Sakura. The blooming red blossom. Of missiles. Uh, and the Centurion AL. So, okay. Oh, he's back. Hammer? Hammer. hammer. Yeah. Mm. He's going to bring the hammer. He's, back. he's the one I believe that... He's the one that took out your Centurion. Mm. That hate on hate. I don't like him. I'm, 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 there might be some. We may we may try oh, to yeah. seek vengeance. There's, there's, there's a high level of uh, animosity. Yes. Is that the word we were looking for? I don't know. I feel it. I feel mm. it in my in my miniatures. <laughs> Pivotal round, right? We both have a victory. Well, you are yeah. So you have a major victory. So it's a good point. You have a major victory. So you have two campaign victory points. I have a minor victory as Tom managed to eke out a final uh, kill on the escort uh, yeah. last week. So I so I have one campaign victory point. So. If I just get a minor victory, we'll be tied, you know, and we'll go to the pursuit track. If you win, if you get a major victory tonight, you could you could wrap this thing up. I mean, basically. Let's do that. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to do everything I can not to let that happen. So, uh, we went over the forces, went over the mission. I think we're ready to rock, right? Let's do it. All right, guys. So, here comes the battle grid. Stay tuned. Action on the way.
All right, here we are on the battle grid of Kuzu, the outskirts of a agricultural city of sorts. So we've got the Donegal Guard here, um, Cyclops, Vulcan, uh, and then Bubbles and Prybar in the middle there. And on the Draconis Combine side, I see that Archer and the Exterminator out on my left flank, the Centurion, and then the Kentaro a little bit separated from the rest. So, wondering what he has up his sleeve, as he is one of the two speedy ones in the bunch, but that Archer has some really good line of sight. Just wants some room to do his runway walking. All the way across the field. All right, so, turn one is coming up. Kevin, how are you feeling about this match? I'm a little nervous. I feel great. You feel good? You but, feel you know. Ask me at like turn five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. So we are ready to go. Mission three underway. Here we are, turn one movement recap. So Kevin, you lost initiative. What happened on your side? <clears throat> Just a straight advance, uh, staying in formation. All right, excellent. Yeah, nothing much uh, on my side here. Running the Vulcan up. I've got the Cyclops moving a little bit out on the flank and the assaults up the center. So turn two coming up. Turn two, and things are happening. Kevin, you won initiative. The Donegal guards had to move first. So here's what happened. The Vulcan slid into first base. Uh, I voluntarily went prone here since I was basically staring down the entire Yakuza Lance uh, and did not want to eat 40 LRMs from that archer. So uh, he's trying to take some cover. My assault mechs moved up here and uh, Scrapper, also an assault mech, mm. out here on the flank, making his way up the hill. Now, in terms of shooting, everyone's firing on the Kentaro. Uh, maybe I can get a lucky throw armor critical and hit the ammo bin. I don't, I don't know. Bad. We'll see. Uh, it's, it's happened. So, two LRM-5s out of Scrapper. Pry Bar will be firing an LRM-15 and a PPC. Bubbles will be firing two PPCs and an LRM-5. Again, all of that's in the Kentaro. Now, the Kentaro does have substantial cover from this rocky outcropping here. Um, so the smoke not really providing anything, but the rock itself uh, blocking his legs and, and, and so on. So, what do you got? All right, well, we did a straight advance again, um, staying in formation for the most part from how we deployed, and we are all gonna be firing our respective LRMs. So I got an LRM-5 on the Kentaro, I got a 10 on the Centurion, and a 10 on the Exterminator, and then the two LRM-20 mm. racks on the archers. They're all coming in on Banshees. On the Banshee, okay. Looking to pop some bubbles. Well, <laughs> we'll see Woo! what happens. I like it, that's a zinger. Donegal Guards up first, Scrapper, firing at Sakura across the battlefield. I need 11s to hit, so I'm gonna be chain firing these LRM-5s. So, first one. Oh, so close. Second one. That's a hit. All right, so one cluster confirmation. Uh, looks like it is just left arm. All right, pry bar up next, firing through those rocks. Really can only see that right side of the mech, visual left. So I need a um, 10 on the LRM-15, 11 on the PPC. We're gonna chain fire. <laughs> That's not a hit. Uh, and on the PPC. Not a hit. All right, so we're gonna roll right into Bubbles. Uh, she also needs 10s and 11s. She has a little bit better line of sight. We're gonna start with the LRM-5. Needs a 10, nothing. And PPCs need 11. First, second. Mm, nothing doing. All right, so Kevin, looks like the Yakuza are up next. All right, Kentaro kicking us off. LRM-5, he's gonna need a nine to hit that Banshee. Mm, no good. We're going to go right over to the Centurion, LRM-10, needs a 10. Ooh, almost. Missiles are sailing. Keep it going. So close. We're going to do the Exterminator, LRM-10, he needs a 9. Mm, all right, big boy. Archer, now, he needs 9s. He needs 9s. You're, you're group firing here? It's ballsy. I'll, I'll chain it. I shouldn't have reminded you. Yeah. No good, but maybe. Still got another 20. Maybe. Hmm. A lot of rockets sailing. That is a true story. All right, well this battle grid already just lighting up with missile explosions, but turn three coming up. 
All right, here we are, turn three. My heart rate's up, Kevin. Oh, according, this is according, uh, weird. According to my Fitbit. It's getting, it's getting crazy. So, uh, in true Kevin fashion, you won initiative yet again. Uh, I believe it was like 10 to my three. So, uh, I had to move first. Um, and of course, we alternated, but essentially what happened was Scrapper's now coming around here um, to close this gap, get that AC20 in range, almost there. Uh, so he's going to be blasting two LRM5s at the Kintaro. Uh, Bubbles and Pry Bar moving up, um, and they both have line of sight to the Kintaro. Bubbles a little taller, able to see over the back of the King Crab. Uh, so we got AC10, two PPCs, LRM5 coming out of the Banshee. Out of the Queen Crab, we have two AC10s and a PPC. And then the Vulcan stood up, still managed to get seven, uh, and we'll be blasting five medium lasers into the Kentaro. However, uh, I need like a nine to hit because of the high, the high speed mods and the fact that he is a four gunnery, a little bit of a rookie there. So mm. what do you have on your side? All right, so standard advance for the most part, the Kentaro is contesting that objective with right. you. Uh, the Kentaro is gonna be blasting Everybody's focusing on the Vulcan. This is so this, Tux. This is Tux is Tux not gonna is, have a good day. Yeah, he's he's getting his bell run, hopefully. Uh, but the Kentaro is gonna be unleashing two mediums, two SRM sixes. Okay. Uh, the Centurion, a large laser and two mediums. Okay. And um, the LRM ten as well. Why not? Why not? Um, Archer, the LRM twenty bins and Exterminator is doing its medium laser array. Okay. Four. All right, well this is, uh, hopefully that three mod helps the Vulcan stay alive. I mean, it's got a nice seven and a half tons I'm of working armor, with eights and nines for the most part, so yeah. it's... Yeah, that's where, kind of where I'm, I'm at. I'm scared. I'm, I'm I, mean, I'm I may miss everything. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, it's gonna come down to the dice and this could actually be the most pivotal turn in the game. So folks, don't turn off YouTube. Stay tuned. Excitement coming your way. All right, the Donegal Guard kicking it off. Here, Bubbles right behind Pry Bar, looking at that Kintaro. So, we're gonna start with the big guns. We wanna try to punch some holes in the armor before we go after it with the array of medium lasers from the Vulcan. So, we're gonna start with Pry Bar here. He needs eights to hit. Kevin, should I group fire or chain fire? This is a tough one. Last week I pulled a group fire and got a glorious hit. Mm -hmm. I feel like these guys are riding high. Well, these guys are riding high on adrenaline. We're going to go for a group fire here. Here we go. Not bad. So two out of three. Rolling for location. All right, so that's going to be double left arm. All right, so Bubbles up next. Firing uh, also needs eights to hit. We are going to group fire here, Kevin. We're taking our, taking our chances. Here we go. All right, so 50-50, but not the 50 we wanted. All right, so just 12 points of damage. All right, so we have two to the center torso and 10 to the right leg. All right, pry bar is up. Lobbing two LRM5s in at, uh, at our boy over here, Sakura. So we're gonna, uh, we're actually gonna group fire again. I need eights. <laughs> All right, so he misses. We're gonna move right into the Vulcan. Standing toe to toe, holding down this objective, trying to fend off those Yakuza from the Karnov. I need nines, now I will be chain firing here. So firing five medium lasers. Miss. Miss. Oh, come on. Give me something. Are you kidding me right now, Kevin? Don't get greedy. <sighs> All right, so that is it for the Donegal Guards. Just a few AC-10s and a PPC or so. Uh, Sakura still still holding firm, was hoping for more. Hopefully Kevin's luck is about on par with mine. All right, starting off with that Centurion, firing his full house. <clears throat> Gonna need eight, nine, and 10 respectively for the mediums, the large, and then the LRN. I'm All right. rather reverse that order. Yep, gotcha. I think we're gonna chain it though, so. Um, let's do that. Start with the LRM. Need eights on this. No good. Nines for the large laser. 
Oh good, wow. And then the two mediums, I need tens. Alright, so the exterminator. We're gonna group it. He's got good line of sight. What's he need? Eights? Nine. Nines, okay. That threshold's dangerous, but we're doing it. Alright, this could be destructive if you hit. Hmm. Unfortunately not. Nothing doing, okay. Alright, we're gonna move on to the archer. He needs an eight. I don't like it. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! There's Tom in the background. He's actually not dead. He's back from, back from the grave. We're the hacking today. Let's do some clusters. <laughs> All right. So launcher number one. Ew. Ooh, just one. one. Oh no. Launcher number two. Can I be so lucky? <laughs> 40 LRMs. These tiny nice. dice need to trade them in. Oh no. Is I that can't. Seven I, damage? Seven damage. I'll do a big die, little die. Alright, sounds good. Alright, so it looks like five to the center Ten, torso. Yeah. And then the two to the to left arm. arm. Yeah. Sakura, the last hope here. But it doesn't look like anyone's getting knocked off this objective this turn. Uh, just a vicious firefight, everyone ducking for cover, throwing off their shots. But let's see what that Kentaro can do. Kev, what do you need? An eight. An eight, An eight all right. All. And you got two SRM sixes. We're grouping it. Oh I'm man. Praying. Yeah. Praying to the dragon. Ooh, I did it. The dragon delivers. That, maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, that is going to be potentially up to first SRM 24, 34 damage, something like that. Well, the, I'm house. getting the opposite effect on the second set. Well, I dodged 40 LRMs and ran straight into the salvo from the Kentaro here. Poor Tox. Okay. Three, so nine total. Jeez. So 18, 28 points of damage. So this Vulcan's going to need to test. Which is not always a great thing when you're piloting his five. <laughs> Let's see that location. All right, here it comes. Oh my, a All lot right. of fours. That, uh, that right arm looks like it's gonna be in trouble. Turn three damage report on the Red Devil's side. Just a little bit of heat build up across the board, notably the Archer at four points of heat courtesy of firing those LRM-20s back to back. The Kentaro, though, the recipient of the bulk of the damage, focused mostly on that left arm. Internal damage there, however, no critical hits, so a little bit lucky. On the Donegal Guard side, uh, things are looking okay. Remember that Cyclops retaining a pilot hit from the last mission. Um, otherwise, all the mechs are in great shape, very low heat. The Vulcan walking through fire. Uh, LRM's just dancing around it, but not finding the home. Uh, just yellow and orange across the board. That mech very much still in the fight. Turn four, it is getting intense. So the Donegal Guards won initiative. I think that was really huge. Um, so Kev, do you want to go through what the Yakuza, what those red devils are up to? Yeah, so the, the exterminator continued his sort of perimeter flanking maneuver, I guess. <clears throat> uh, shooting in his four mediums on that um, Banshee. Okay. The Kentaro split from the objective and taking a little cover behind that exterminator but squeaking off um, his short range fire as well into the Banshee. The Centurion pulled up to the objective, got, you know, a little outmaneuvered there but, you know, such is a initiative life. Shooting uh, down at the Banshee as well with everything he has except for one medium. And the Archer is the only one deviating. He walked up and is going to be shooting the um, Vulcan in the back with his LRM racks. Oof. Oof. Hopefully, but, hopefully the fire. Shot. It's a tough shot. Hopefully your fire control is a little more forgiving. I, I sort of felt bad uh, watching 40 LRMs turn into seven. Mm. But it's Artemis quick. Yeah, well, soon, soon. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, so, what did we do on the Donegal Guard side? Well, the 7th, under the command of Scrapper, 
uh, continued their implacable advance, uh, pry bar bubbles, making their way towards that down Karnov transport. Um, they're going to be turning their attention. We are 100% focused firing that Centurion. So we're going to see what we can do here. So uh, bubbles firing two PPCs, AC-10, LRM-5. Uh, pry bar, two AC-10s, one PPC, LRM-15. So he is alpha striking. He's going to be building up five points of heat this turn. Uh, scrapper uh, at nine inches. So in range with that AC-20, he is going to be firing that uh, along with a medium laser and his two LRM-5s. And then the Vulcan, Tux, is going to be shooting the Centurion in the back with five medium lasers. Hmm. So, we're going to see, we're going to try to rip them off that objective, get some points early. Uh, we'll see what we can do. So, shooting is coming right up. All right, Archer is kicking us off with the LRM salvo into the rear of that Vulcan. Hopefully this time a little bit better contact. So he needs uh, sevens. All right. Leading the minimum range. Yeah. Oh no, I saw that four tipping. <laughs> so once again, 40 man. LRM sail towards the back of the Vulcan. This could be devastating. Salvo number one. Just two. Salvo number two. Man, I just can't get can't, can't get, lucky. get lucky with those missiles. Um, so fifteen in total coming into the rear arc of that Vulcan. What do you got? Oh, some T, some torso. So. You definitely have some left torso uh, and some CT. All right, Centurions kicking off the next set. We're gonna be firing down at the Banshee with everything he has. LRM-10, large laser, two medium, or one medium, right? I said I was holding off on one of the mediums. Yep. Um, I need seven on the LRM, eight on the, um, sorry, seven on the large laser in LRM. Eight on the medium. Thank you. Gotcha. Gracias. Just the medium. Okay. I think the Banshee will be okay unless you get a throw or crit on the cockpit. Kevin, can you do it? Worried, worried that. <laughs> Left flag. All right, exterminator up next. Four medium lasers right into the grill of your Banshee. That's pretty, pretty <clears throat> much point blank there. Yeah, man. Uh, sixes, getting better. Getting better. Ooh. Everything hits, full house. Let's check the location. All right, so a little concentration there. Not bad. Shotgun Sakura's up. Need a six to hit with my two SRM sixes and two mediums into that banshee. All sixes? All sixes. Thanks. Jeez. Oof. Another Oof. six on the pilot Oof. die. Wow, this banshee is taking a beating. Good thing she's got lots of armor, but the question is, will I make my piloting check, Kevin? Will my locking mechanisms fail me again? <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. All right. Not four. bad. It's a four on one. The SRMs have been working. And three. All right. So seven in total. My math serves me right. Plus mm -hmm. two medium lasers. Not too shabby. All right. There it is. Sorry. I did not. Doesn't count. Count. Not until the <laughs> yellow die drops. All right. Here it goes. Bit of everywhere. That's a shotgun. shotgun. All right, starting with Scrapper. Firing on the Centurion. I need a little bit of a mixed bag here. Sevens, eights, uh, actually sevens and nines. Uh, so sevens and eights, sorry. Right, because the LRMs are in minimum range, so that bumps that up to a seven. And then at long range with the AC-20 uh, and the medium laser. So I am gonna, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna chain fire here. Let's start with the AC-20, shall we? You'd love to. Mm. Here we go. Mm. Boom, that hits. Okay, so AC-20 hits. Medium laser, also needs an 8. Misses. LRM-5, number 1. Misses. LRM-5, number 2, need a 7 here. Not. Oh, hits. Okay, so the one that matters hits. Cluster confirmation, it's 25 points of damage. I do have to roll the location separately, right. 
I guess we don't need to worry about the rest of the shooting round as the Centurion is viciously beheaded Enemy mech by the Cyclops. Wow. Scrapper getting vengeance on Hammer. I think the caliber of that bullet just cleanly took the head off. <laughs> just, oh, wait a minute now. I salvaged your Centurion, Kevin. That means... You get it back. My Centurion will be back on the table. <laughs> but I have to use your variant. But I think our variants were identical. They were. What a twist of fate, folks. So. But I want to, I want to see black and red on the table. You got it. Well, uh, damage recap coming up. A lot of wasted bullets. Some piloting checks mm. remaining, but we'll catch up in just a second. Turn four damage report on the Draconis Combine side. Ouch. The Vanguard of Lyran Assault Mechs focusing on the Centurion. Scrapper first of the punch. AC-20 shot blows the head clean off, killing the pilot instantly. Vengeance is served. The Archer up to five points of heat as well looking at a movement penalty. Now on the Donegal guard side, things looking a little bit better. Two of the Draconis mechs breaking off, focusing on bubbles in her Banshee, but those thick armor plates just shrugging off a ton of fire. Uh, Prybar up to five points of heat in his King Crab, so he'll be looking at a movement penalty. And the Vulcan, right leg blown off by an errant LRM. That mech is not in great shape, but still contesting that center objective. Turn five, we are back. So action here in the center, around the objective. Uh, I want initiative again, which is a rare thing against you, Kevin. So the, uh, the Yakuza are a man down. Uh, so you had to move first. Yeah. You moved one, I moved two, and then you moved one, I moved one, and so on. So tell us what you have going on with the Red Devils here. You know, the uh, Archer taking the objective, walking up. Unloading two medium lasers into that downed um, Vulcan. And the Kintaro backed up, walking backwards to take a little cover from his ally. Also, torso turning and firing at the uh, downed uh, oh, Vulcan with I his didn't, I didn't see that. Ordinary. I didn't realize that was happening. Oh, no. <laughs> the, uh, the exterminator is the only one deviating from the plan. He's wrapping around, flanking... Attempting to flank that Banshee, he's going to be firing four mediums into his left arc. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, the Donegal Guards did as follows. The, the Vulcan uh, just kind of laying still. He's going to prop up on two arms and fire three uh, medium lasers out of the right torso at the Archer. Um, the uh, Scrapper here and the Cyclops moving through, taking the, the movement point to go downhill into the rubble within three inches of that central objective, that down Karnov. He's going to be alpha striking. We'll be building up four points of heat this turn, uh, but that's an AC-20, two mediums, two LRM-5s going in hot at the Archer. The King Crab, Pry Bar, uh, suffering from a heat penalty from last turn, just kind of shimmying forward, uh, pivoting a little bit. He's going to be aiming and firing, not a full salvo this time, but hefty enough, two AC-10s, PPC, at the Archer, uh, and then Bubbles and the Banshee. Uh, this was the last, this was my last move, and I debated whether to back her up or just even sit her still, but I decided to kind of move and turn to keep, keep him out of my rear arc, um, but I want to press that objective and force the fight in the middle. So she's going to soak the damage as best she can from that Exterminator, Torso Twist, and unload on that Archer uh, with all the big guns, um, the, the, the typical salvo, so two PPCs, uh, an AC-10, and the LRM-5. So, that is what I've got. All right, Archer's kicking things off. Two medium lasers, giving the missiles a rest into that down Vulcan. I need to cool down a little, hopefully just pop them. Uh, I need fives, I'm sorry, no, I need, yeah, fives. All right. I'm holding my breath. So what's his facing? I'm in the front arc, right? You're in the front arc still. Yeah, he is facing the way he is laying. So that looks like some left side action. All right, the Kentaro surprising the Vulcan, throwing it in reverse, <laughs> laying down some pain here. Kentaro has been doing pretty good. He's a seasoned yeah. veteran of, of last battle. That he is. All right. All right, so I got two SRM sixes and a medium going into him. I need um, sixes for the Kentaro. Mm, wow. But the SRMs, yeah. that's the one. SRMs that I still hook. 
First salvo. Man, three of them. <clears throat> Second salvo. That looks a little better. Four of them. Seven total. Okay. Here we go for location. Oh boy. Any any floating oh, criticals? No. But uh, lots of CT, I yeah. see. A couple of CT hits. All right, we'll figure this one out. All right, exterminator closing us out into the banshee with four mediums. He needs five. All of it. This is a left arc. Now that's one of those tables I don't have memorized, so we'll have to go to the <laughs> go to the chart. I think eight might be CT though. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. All right, here we go. The Donegal Guards Reconnaissance Lance, uh, starting with the King Crab. <laughs> uh, so Pry Bar needs sixes across the board. Uh, so here we go. We're gonna group fire these guys. All right, that's 30 damage coming in. All right, so looks like 20 to the CT and 10 to the right arm. All right, so that Banshee's up, bubbles twisting, firing. Uh, twin PPCs, they need fives, everything else needs a six here, so. All right, another full house. 35 points, that's 65 points on that archer so far. Here we go. Can we get some more CT? Critical hit. All right, so we have right leg, right arm, two floating criticals here. So let's do the right leg and right arm. They each take 10. And then I'll roll up my floating criticals here. Right leg? Yes. All right, now. Floating critical location for the LRM cluster. It's going to be right torso. That takes five points. And we'll roll to confirm here. Nothing. The AC-10 location. It's going to be right arm, mm, 10 points of damage. Now that's going to bleed through, so I get two crit chances here. First one, nothing. Second one, nothing. All right, so the archer getting banged up, but could have been worse. Mm -hmm. Cyclops coming up next. All right, the Cyclops through the fire and the smoke over the downed Karnov transport. Needs sixes on everything to hit the archer. That is once again a full house. So we were at 65, 75, rolling for clusters, 80, 102 points of damage. Mm. So let's roll for location here. This archer is pretty tough, I must say. There's no, no, mere, no mere mortal. All right, so here we go, location. I was hoping for CT on that AC-20, but still pretty good. So we have left torso takes 20. All right, so that Vulcan is up next, uh, firing across at that archer. We're going to chain fire. We only have three medium lasers. I need eight, so that's one. All right, so that's two. Uh, left arm takes 10. So that'll be 112 points of damage in total to that archer. Turn five damage report on the Draconis Combine side, the Red Devils in a precarious spot, the archer taking a, just a massive amount of damage, over 100 points, forcing a very high PSR. That mech loses an arm, loses a medium laser, goes crashing to the ground, damage across the board. Uh, otherwise, just a little bit of heat on the Kintaro, up to four points and the exterminator holding steady at two points of heat. Now on the seventh Donegal guard side, things are looking much better. Scrapper, pry bar, no damage there, just some heat build up. Both of those mechs looking at movement penalties. The Banshee continuing to shrug off fire like a boss. Uh, however, the Vulcan, not so lucky, continuing to get pummeled down a second medium laser. However, that mech somehow miraculously still alive and still contesting that central objective. Turn six, here we are. Dire Straits, Kevin, I think, for the Yakuza. This is the third straight turn you lost initiative. 
uh, if I'm not mistaken, which is uh, in this particular scrap, I think, has been a blessing for the Commonwealth. So uh, why don't you kick us off? What has happened with the Yakuza here? All right. I mean, that archer got up, tuck and tail and running. Uh, he's going to torso twist, though, and dump some bins into that uh, Vulcan on the ground. The execution move, yeah. the coup de grace. Guys, has been, spent half the match on the ground. <laughs> um, Kentaro reversed, put it in reverse, doing the same thing, turning, dumping what he has, all the short range stuff. Okay. Uh, Exterminator ran up. He's behind that Cyclops now, going to be firing four mediums into that rear torso. Yeah, that's a little concerning, but um, hopefully uh, his armor holds up, but we'll see. So on the on the Lyran uh, side here, the Donable Guards, the seventh proud and true here on the battlefield, what has happened? So uh, not much. Basically, everyone stood still. Uh, Vulcan obviously not going anywhere. Cyclops planting. King Crab planting. Bubbles moved forward uh, three inches there, just a walk move. So here's what shooting uh, looks like. So the uh, the Vulcan, Tux, he's going to prop up on two arms. He's going to fire three medium lasers at the Kentaro. Uh, the King Crab, Prybar, also firing at the Kentaro with a complement of two AC-10s and a PPC. Uh, and then we have Scrapper in the Cyclops, Alpha striking into the rear arc of the Archer. Bubbles, Alpha striking, building up 10 points of heat. So this is a lot of weapons coming in, also firing at that Archer as well. So, um, I have fairly decent target numbers. We'll see what happens. Uh, this could be a telling turn, uh, but we'll see. So, let's get to it. Mm. All right, Archer's up, two LRMs coming down on that Vulcan. He needs a humble six. A humble six, it seems doable. Got All it. right, so. Have you fixed your fire control? Probably not, everything's wonky right now. All right, there's three. Uh, that's gonna hurt in and of itself, so that's 15. And there's that one. Here we go, location. CCT, yeah. Some leg. This could be bad. We'll see. He doesn't have much left. Kintara looking to salvage some honor with what little they have left. He needs six. And there it all is. All right, so shotgun time. Oh, boy. Kevin collecting the dice. Mm. Rolling for clusters here. There's a five, five on that one. Five on the first one. This Kintaro's oh. been fairly reliable. And then five again, 10 All total. Right. That's a, that's a lot of SRMs. Mm -hmm. Is that plus two medium lasers? Uh, yeah. So that's 30 points of damage? Mm hmm. <laughs> Good luck counting that up. <laughs> We'll be right back after these messages. All right, exterminator, right into the rear of that Cyclops. He needs a four. All right. All these mediums, so. That's all but guaranteed, unless I just suck at life. All right. Well, you, you're doing good. Let's see if we can concentrate that. All sevens. Uh-oh. There's a couple sevens. And a through armor. And a through armor critical. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kevin's got that. I mean, look at It's the turning tide. All right, let's yeah, so is. let's roll that up. Let's see where it is. Dear Lord. Ooh. Oh, God, that's going to be two hits to the right torso. I think the Centurion, or I'm sorry, the, the Cyclops may only have nine back there. So that's, so that's, that's going right. to be two critical rolls on the right torso. You want to roll them now on camera for everyone to witness? Let's do it. Is there, I don't even know, is there ammo in that? Gotta be. It's a oh yeah, that's where the AC twenty is. Uh oh, Kevin. Kevin, it could happen. Oh. This is the first one. I'm praying. Ooh, two of them. 
Oh boy. All right, I got to go back over to my sheet here. Now, this is an inner outer. Yellow is outer. You need a five or a six on the, on the second down, tier yeah. to get that ammo. Ooh, but that AC-20 is out of commission. Give me a one, two, or three on the yellow. Four, two, all right, so two hits of the AC-20. That will be costly to repair, but Scrapper still in the fight. Wraith, the leader of the Red Devils detachment. A little scalpel. Just scalpel to the back. Right to the back. All right, so the Donegal Guards still get to retaliate. One more chance to fire that meaty AC-20 at the Archer. It's coming up next. All right, so here we are. We're back. The Donegal Guard retaliating. We're going to start with the Vulcan, who now is in forced withdrawal here. So three medium lasers firing across at the Kintaro, and I'm going to need... Eights across the board. We're going for a group fire here. This is a uh, propping up with both arms or what's left of them. Oh, just misses. Just misses. Okay. So we're going to move on right to the King Crab, who is also firing at the Kintaro. He only needs fives. So we've got a PPC and two AC-10s. Sighting them down. Can we get 30 points of damage here? Yes, we can. All right. So everything hits. Rolling for location. So nothing too great, a bit of a spread. Right torso and left torso each are going to take 10 points of damage. And then that left arm, which I believe is already banged up a little bit, also takes 10 from the PPC. Scrapper, the XO of the Donegal guards here, firing across at that archer. It's a nice gunnery of two, veteran pilot, only needs fours on the LRMs, fives on the uh, medium laser in the AC-20, which of course, as we know, the last shot here of the game for the AC-20, potentially of the campaign. Can I get it? All right, well, looking pretty good, but this misses. So, rolling up for clusters here. AC-20 hit. Yeah. Mm. Yes, all right, so we have a small uh, two-point cluster and then a, uh, a full five points. So what I want to do is go to the dice bank over here. Grab one of these little miniature size dice for our... All right, rolling for location. Now we are squarely in the rear arc. Can we get a seven? Or maybe another AC-20 head kill. Wouldn't that be glorious? Here we go. <laughs> Almost. All right, here we are. The last shot for the Donegal Guard. Bubbles firing a full alpha strike. This is gonna build up nine points of heat plus walking, 10 points of heat on the turn. It's, it's meaty. It's cruel. Uh, she needs fives on the LRMs. Uh, I'm sorry, fives on, um, yeah, on the LRM, six on everything else. So, here we go. Fives on the PPCs, sixes on everything else. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> we're at six inches, so the LRM's in minimum range. Okay, here we go. I got it right this time. Oh boy. All right, so that is everything. Six on the pilot die. Bubbles paying off here. All right, here we go. Rolling for location. Oh my god, that left arm just getting pummeled. Um, so, looks like a whole bunch of stuff here going on. Uh, we will figure that out and get back on the damage recap. We are back with the turn six damage recap on the Red Devil side. Things are not looking good. The Archer cannot withstand the withering hail of fire coming out of that Cyclops and the Banshee. Bubbles putting the final nail in the coffin, ripping through the left side of that Archer, detonating the CT. That pilot ejects. The Kintaro also sustaining heavy fire from the King Crab. Left arm ripped off. That mech is down three weapons. Now, on the 7th Donegal guard side, things are getting interesting. That Vulcan, still alive, but finally now in forced withdrawal. That mech's going to have to get up and make its way off the table edge. The Cyclops getting outflanked, lasers ripping through its rear CT, damaging the gyro, almost puncturing the AC-20 ammo bin, but instead taking out that massive cannon. All the assaults looking at penalties from heat with bubbles at a staggering 13 points on the meter. All right, turn seven, uh, the Red Devils pulling back a carnage in the middle of the field there. What happened on your side? What happened on my side? That's the story of the day. <laughs> um, K-9 
Kintaro continuing his, his backward trot. Exterminator's gunning it, but both are going to try to get some grief oh, killing on that <laughs> on that Vulcan. That poor Vulcan. I mean, he's been through so much already, but... Kintaro doesn't uh, have much left. He's got an SRM-6 and a medium laser. That whole um, left arm got destroyed. Exterminator's fresh, so he's just going to fire all his mediums across the way. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, and by good, I mean terrible. Um, I hope I hope the Vulcan survives. But I don't have too much to bring to the table here. Most of my mech stood still. The Cyclops pivoted to protect his rear torso. Um, he's firing two mediums and two LRM-5s at the Exterminator. So just going to really chip his paint. I, I, unless I get really lucky, um, nothing's going to really happen there. The King Crab, though, unloading his complement, two AC-10s and LRM-15 on the Kentaro, so that could do some damage. Bubbles firing one PPC, one auto cannon, and the LRM-5. However, she's at a plus two gunnery mod, so I need eights and nines there. So we'll see. I mean, it's still feasible. Um, and then the Vulcan Tux uh, shooting over at the Exterminator needs nines. Uh, two mediums left is all he's got. So that's what we've got going on. Right. So shooting coming up. Starting with Scrapper here, firing up and over at Wraith in the Exterminator, fleeing. Uh, need sixes and sevens. So sixes on the LRM, sevens on those mediums. Here we go. And he is on form. Rolling for clusters, both hit. So 20 points of damage coming in. Here we go. Location, nothing too great. Next up is the poor Vulcan here, Tux. Managed to stand, hobbling on one leg, trying to make his way to the safety of his table edge. Firing two medium lasers. Needs nines. We're going to uh, chain fire here. Miss. Oh, gets one. And that's just a right arm shot for five points. King Crab twisting, sighting down the Kintaro. Firing two AC-10s. And an LRM-15 needs sevens across the board. Here we go. I will say the luck is with me tonight. Not always the case, but here we go. That's a full house, so that's going to be 35 points of damage. Locations. So, what do I see here? A little bit of everything. All right, we're back with bubbles here. Firing over the hill at the Kintaro. Targeting systems are a little cooked. So she's going to need eights and nines. Um, I'm just we'll group firing it here. Hoping for the best. Here we go. All right, so <laughs> just the LRM5 hits. Five points of damage. It's coming into the left leg. All right, exterminator's up. Firing into that Vulcan E fives. It's an awfully good shot. It is. That will be everything. I want blood. I yeah, want I can the tell. Blood. I can tell. Yeah, the coordinator will not be pleased. Mm, he's already pissed. Any headshots or lots of CT? No, with some CT. So that's yeah. gonna hurt you. Turn 7 damage report on the Red Devil side. The Lance, or what's left of it, is in full retreat. The Exterminator taking a little bit of outbound fire. No life-threatening injuries there. Uh, the Kintaro also takes a little bit of heat. That left torso showing some internal structure, but otherwise okay. Heat is good enough for these mechs to sprint off the board if needed. On the 7th Donegal Guard side, the three Vanguard assault mechs not taking any damage this turn and bleeding off tremendous amounts of heat, only laying down light fire on those outbound Draconis mechs. However, the Vulcan takes the bulk of it, and finally, the Drax get their kill, and that pilot ejects. Here we are. The mission successful for the Donegal Guards. The counterattack has succeeded. They've taken and held the central objective. The two mechs remaining, Sakura and Wraith, the, the only survivors, ironically, from the last mission as well. The, yeah. only, the only two here as no, well. No one wants to be their, you know, their, their landsmates. That's right, they're cursed. 
They're cursed, but Donable Guard moving up, protecting uh, what's left of that Vulcan. And by what's left, I mean just the pilot sitting in a head because you basically <laughs> destroyed every other section. Um, and the, uh, you know, the sweet salvage of that Centurion, or what's left of it, um, at least we won't, won't be able to make use of it next mission, but perhaps if we go to game five. So this is going to be a major victory for the Donegal Guards, which will put the campaign victory points three on the Lyran side to two the Draconis Combine. So still very much a contested, hotly contested planet. So let's go to the after action report that's coming up right now. Seventy-eight hundred points. Uh, yeah, you must be feeling good. I feel good, um, but I will tell you uh, the luck of the Iron Fist of House Steiner was on my side. Luck goes you, both ways. It does, uh, but I will say I, I felt particularly bad for that archer who you hit with both LRM twenties, maybe two or three turns, and ended up turning over like yeah. Like a composite twenty-five damage or something out of potential sixty. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't pretty. Um, and I will be honest. I mean, that's game-changing stuff, right? Because if you would have knocked out that Vulcan early in the match, you know, like especially on turn one, I, I was two turns out to get the assaults yeah. in. I mean, the Centurion um, went down pretty early too. So I'm in a, like at an immediate disadvantage. I had only three mechs on the board. Oh right, the AC twenty headshot. So he will be missed, Hammer. Yeah, well, Hammer. He felt uh, the Hammer. <laughs> he he had a he we had a we had a a bounty on him hanging up in the barracks, you know. After last he, thing on the radio was, hey guys, I think he's got an AC. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! And then static. Uh, then static. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what I, did he say? Uh, <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> an AC what? Must be an AC too. Yeah. Um, it was a it was a fun match though. I mean, I, I obviously I enjoyed it. Um, it was a miserable match. I I felt bad for you. I know. <laughs> I've been on I've been on the other side. I will tell you, it feels good to win initiative like three or four times yeah, in a row. That also makes a huge so difference. So key. I mean, especially when you're maneuvering at that range, right? Because yeah. the, the take and hold were forced at point blank. You have to maneuver around each other. And I mean, you see the difference in me, because when you got that rear shot on the Cyclops, it's all you needed. You got Gyro, you knocked out the AC-20, mm -hmm. like, oh man, that was yeah. ugly. I mean, overall, the thing that hurt, I think, my, I think the biggest difference, fundamentally, between the two lances, mine had a lot of splash damage. A lot of LRMs, a lot of medium lasers. The firepower, you just it's brutal. You, know, you just you were so just puncturing good. PPC AC ten. Tom PPC was, AC ten. Tom was saying the same thing last week. And I really didn't want to play like a similar lance because I kinda of wanted to bring new mechs to the channel, but as I was saying earlier, like if if I played this lance, like you took scrap route, but if it was one of the mediums or something else, like I wouldn't be able to bring stuff next week. So it was sort of tough. Yeah. So I was saving my catapult, the K two. Oh man. Wish I brought him. I needed some of that puncture power, but honestly, I, I'm glad I did it because if that happened with the Centurion earlier on, like it happened now, I, right, we'd be, yeah, uh, you might have lost him. Yeah, it could have, could have been. But still, bad. Archer down. That's that's gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. Um. So next week we move to the pursuit track, I believe. So we were at the um, first contact, and then breakthrough. Right, which right. is when you're on the offensive. Then I once we went to counterattack. Now it's pursuit, so I'm like trying to route you out of the planet. Um, so we'll see what happens. I mean, it could go either way. So we'll definitely we'll try to pick a fresh new mission. Uh, we'll have it. We'll try to get some fresh mechs on the table. But I'm gonna need a victory. You're gonna need I a need victory. One. Yeah, yeah. So now, I mean, it started out. You came out strong out of the gate. Three, uh, two victory points, right at the campaign level. To you might be able to settle for a draw. What's that? Yeah, I could. Last mission. Yeah, we could. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So you should just try to settle. Settle for a draw? Yeah. <laughs> you think You think so? That would be the so, Steiner way. The Steiner way. Yeah. I mean, no. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So what do we got coming up next? We got mission four. 
maybe yeah. a week or two. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, I walk home with a Centurion too. I get to haul the chassis back. Yeah, it's gonna be out of commission at least for 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 one mission. So we may see it in mission five. I may be fielding just just for fun a red (laughs) neck amongst the the sea of blue. Uh, But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Um, You know, of course, we had fun playing as always. And uh, Tom Tom's in the background there. He uh, always serving the dragon. That guy. I don't know. I I need Tom. You and I need to team up. I think on the next one, or maybe me and Kevin against Tom's. Tiki to Tigers. I don't know. We'll see. And then, spoiler alert, maybe some maybe some advancement in the timeline soon. What do you think? Yeah, it's almost time for the clan invasion. The Kickstarter looks pretty great. Kevin, I know you've already committed. I have. Uh, Tom and I are on the verge. I think tonight we're going we're gonna to pony up. So that'll be fun. I'm going to hit that. Now, I, I'm, I'm hoping we hit that. Was it a million and a half? I mean, so it was like 950, I think, last time I looked. Yeah. Right. So that'll be nice. So. That'll be great, right. So all the packs won't be just duplicates. You can just pick. Yeah. Like, if we do the $1,000 package, you get 22 different, like, <laughs> <laughs> So what's the over-under that they're going to release a new Zeus? Because that's what I'm mm. really secretly excited about. That's what you're waiting on. Because mm. they got those two undeclared... I would be surprised if they didn't. You know, it seems like so one should be in there. I feel, I feel that way, too. But we'll see. Anyway. What was an upgraded Zeus? What, like, you mean like the better one, the 9, the 9T, I believe, or 9S? Did they have one that came out during that period? Yeah, the 3048 yeah. one, and then of course there's the goofy X experimental one, like the X1 mm. and X2, and it's got like, the fins. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what they're for. Yeah. Probably cooling, but... It's for when you hit that top speed. <laughs> <laughs> Reduces aerodynamic drags, yeah. so the Zeus can run a little faster. Alright, well we're digressing, but uh, guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this battle report. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, leave some comments, let us know what you thought, and of course tell your friends about us, and stay tuned. A lot more coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Catch you soon, guys. See ya.